Hello, everyone, and welcome to Level Editor 101 for Unreal Tournament 2003. My name is Jason Busby, also known as Buzz, and tonight I'm being joined by Mr. Logan Frank, also known as Jayhawk. Jayhawk. And we're from 3dbuzz.com. Our mission tonight is throughout a series of video lessons within this VTM to show you guys the basics of Unreal Ed version 3.0. Now, I said the basics. I say that because things can get pretty deep while working inside this editor right here. And if we tried to go over everything, it would take more than a couple of hours, wouldn't you say, Logan? Most definitely. And our goal is not to go on and on and on forever and ever and ever. So with that... Let me first tell you guys how we're going to be doing things through these video lessons. In this particular VTM, Logan is going to be doing the driving, and he's going to be doing a lot of the talking. And I'm going to be sitting over here also doing talking and acting as a student from time to time. What I want to do is help some of you guys out there that may have never worked with any level editors or any type of level design in the past. I want to kind of anticipate the questions that you may have and ask those questions live while we're going through this so that you'll sort of get the feeling of actually be in a classroom. We have found through VTMs that this facilitates learning a lot faster than just your regular slow training video, which we're hoping not to keep it that way, hoping to make it a little bit more interesting. In fact, let's start by making your heart pound a little bit by saying what you're looking at on your screen right now is the actual level editor with a level in it. And this level's a little special because we're actually going to be building it tonight, aren't we there, Logan? Yes, we are. Hmm. Now, if I was completely new looking at that, I would be thinking you're going to be building that in just a couple of hours. Yeah, right. You're going to start out by like making a simple cube, and then you're going to go off camera, come back, and have this massive level built and say it's just that simple. But we're not going to do that, are we? No. We're actually going to carve, out, carve this thing out piece by piece and show you how it's put together. So we're going to actually construct it right in front of our viewers, right? Right. Excellent. Most excellent. All right. So with that understanding out of the way, Let's go ahead and start out with the basic anatomy of a level. Let's just go ahead and talk about some of the terms that our viewers are going to hear throughout this VTM and while they're talking with other level designers out there on the Internet. So starting out with, in the Unreal world, when you go to create a level, it starts out as solid mass before you've constructed anything. It's not like you're standing in a world of emptiness and you start constructing walls. It's different. As it, it's as if you were just born inside a rock with a little bitty shovel, and you need to start digging your way out. Isn't that right, Logan? Right. You want to add anything to that? No, nope, that sounds good. Okay. So basically you start carving stuff out. And as you carve out, let's say you start out with a simple cube and you carve a cube out. And we'll be taking a look at this uh, in the very next lesson, as a matter of fact. But then you can go in there and you can start adding pieces back in. You can start applying textures. And what are textures, Logan? Textures, in, in this sense that we're talking about, are the textures that you would actually apply to these brushes. Like after you carve out, you can actually go and put textures on what you just carved out or a simple piece of mass that you added back. Okay. So we can also add mass back in as well. You just said right. that's very important. That's, that's your basics. You can carve out, but then you can also add back to get your general shape going. Okay. And in this carving out and adding back in, we're working with a thing called brushes. Isn't that correct? Right. So what's a brush? A brush kind of like, it defines the space that your geometry is going to be in. I mean, if you carve something out, you'll, you have faces that you carved out. Like if you carve out a box, you're going to have six faces. If you add another box inside that, now you're going to have six more faces, but that you can see once you're inside your level. Okay. So the first one you just described, you actually carved out. The second one you were going to add back in there then. Right. Okay. So a brush, basically, we're going to start out with a constructor brush where that is where we're going to basically mold the shape that we're going to use for subtraction or adding back in. Right. That's more like a uh, like a preview brush or template brush. It's going to sh you get to see exactly what it's going to look like, but it hasn't actually added any geometry to the scene yet. Okay. Cool. All right, so that's a little bit about brushes and a little bit about texturing. We're also going to be dealing with actors. And let me just let me get this out of the way real quick. Actors is basically everything, right? Right. I mean, a brush is an actor as well. Yeah, at the lowest level, it's, the, they're all actors. Exactly. But, you know, when we start talking about actors a little bit later on throughout this VTM right here, we're going to be referring to things like lights, weapons, Things like that. Yeah, right? your player starts, stuff like that. Player start, decoration, et cetera, et cetera. But just know that actors is basically everything. So we will be taking a look at adding actors into the scene a little bit later on. Also, we'll talk a little bit about static meshes and terrain. So what's a static mesh? 
A static mesh is, it can be very high poly due to the fact that it's hardware rendered, generally created in a uh, Max or similar 3D modeling program, also textured in that program. Okay, so a static mesh is not a brush that we create inside Unreal. No, it's, it's something that we bring in from somewhere else. Okay, excellent, from another 3D package. Right. And the cool thing is, we're actually going to be doing a static meshes VTM here real soon that's going to show people how to actually construct these static meshes and texture them and light them and then bring them into Unreal Tournament. Now, let me ask you this. Do we, is there any advantage whatsoever to using a static mesh? Well, seeing as the fact that it um, it gets cached on the video card and is set up to uh, set up as an instance, which saves memory, you can have like you have many thousands of polygons on the screen and not really feel any impact in the performance. I mean, you can easily have twenty or fifty thousand polygons on the screen from static meshes, but then the gameplay will stay smooth. Excellent. As a matter of fact, right now, if they are watching the screen, you can turn off all of those static meshes real quickly, and you can see exactly what things look like without them there. Whoa! Suddenly, it's quite bear. So go ahead and turn those back on. Whoa, it's just come back to life. So yeah, static meshes are are meshes that we can bring into the scene that really help speed thing up speed things up and gives us the ability to add quite a bit of detail, which is absolutely awesome. So terrain What's terrain? Terrain is more like a it's a height map based sheet of polygons in a sense. Okay. It allows you to do smooth or jagged if you wanted, but it gives you a large surface that you can define from a height map. Okay, excellent. Very, very cool. All right, let's see. What else we need to talk about? So lights, of course, we can add lights into the scene we need to to give illumination, right? Right. Okay. So we'll be looking at adding some lights tonight. And finally, after we go in there and we use brushes so that we can do subtractions and, and adding stuff in and we bring in static meshes and if we were to use any terrain and we start placing various actors all over the scene and our lights and our textures and all that stuff's out of the way, then we've got to do a thing called rebuilding. Isn't that right? Right. So what is this rebuilding? Rebuilding is where it takes the, the current position of your brushes and your, and your lights and recalculates. Uh, stuff like where the actual geometry is and how shadows are, ca uh, how are cast from those lights. Okay. So once all of this is complete, then you can actually go and play the game or play the level. Right. Like okay. So let's go ahead, before we move out of this lesson, let's take just a minute and kind of walk around the screen and just look at the basics of how the UI is set up, and then we're going to start getting into the functionality of all of these different buttons throughout this VTM and other VTMs as well. So in other words, right now, even though we are going to talk about a basic overview of the UI, we're not going to get into it really deep. First thing I'd like to point out is we've got these viewports, these very large windows right here, as you can see the mouse is moving over, and these viewports serve as our window into the 3D world in which we're going to be constructing the actual level. And we will be having a section coming up a little bit later on called Viewports where we're going to take the time to talk about how to navigate inside viewports and various view modes in which you can see your geometry displayed back out at you. Okay, so Logan, you want to go ahead and start? Uh, okay. Let's see, start at the top, menu bar. Menu bar, the, uh, uh, a lot of your main functions, of course, the basic uh, load, save, new Actually, map. Actually, a little bit higher, the menu bar at the very top. Okay. Well, this is where you have file where you have stuff like load and save maps. Edit to show like you can actually copy and paste or uh, various duplication and the sh uh, shortcut keys to it, undo and redo. View where you can show, you can grab different browsers, you can grab different properties. This is also where you get into the viewport configuration, which we'll probably be taking a quick look at a little later. You've got brush or different operations you can apply to brushes. Also different ways of importing and exporting uh, different things as brushes. Uh, build, different, uh, basically what these buttons do, the, uh, the rebuild options and various forms of rebuilding. Tools, stuff like uh, the 2D shape editor and just extra utilities that you'll be working with. And then help, links to various other parts of the help. Okay. Also, I will go ahead and point out right now that from time to time you will see some anomalies in our viewports. Don't let that stress you out. They'll clear up relatively quick. It's just something that happens. Depending on your video drivers, you may see it worse. It may be a little bit better. Who knows? 